Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today is part one of the celebration for the channel reaching 3,000 subscribers. It actually went to 3,000 the other day. So the introduction of the dolls is part of our celebration. So let's go ahead and get started. So I might as well start with the head of the family, who is Big Daddy. Now, Big Daddy was a part of my original polymer clay dollhouse family, and I made him probably 2003, 2004. Big Daddy is a modest man, but in his younger days, he worked on the railroad, and he lost his fingers and got a large settlement. He invested his money and purchased property. So let me show you Big Ma. Now Big Ma actually made her in 2020 um, during um, the lockdown. And I was trying a little bit more at doing facial features and creating more emotion in the eyes and all of that. Now, although Big Daddy is the head of the family, Big Ma really is very involved in the community, very warm and sweet, very ladylike and very active in the church community. Now dolls, I just have to show you her hat. It's a very special hat. It's made with red felt and I put a feather on it because I had to make it in a way that would fit on her head along with her little bun. So yeah, that's her special hat and she wears it when she goes to different meetings in the community and within the church community. And she definitely represents the family and Big Daddy well outside the rooming house. So let's go on to her sister, Janie. Now, Janie is going to be, is actually Big Ma's sister, but Aunt Janie is going to be living in the smaller house with Aunt Bess. Now, Aunt Janie was a part of the original family as well. Her face is actually made out of a different type of clay. I think it's air dry clay, but I made her again, 2003, 2004. So she is one of my original creations. I really like her a lot. I really love the fabric on her dress and the detailing I did to make her look warm and cozy and like the real cuddly warm aunt. So Aunt Janie is the type that loves to sew and cook and she loves the children, but she's definitely right now focused on getting the dress shop up and running with Aunt Bess. So keep in mind, Aunt Janie and Big Ma are sisters but Aunt Bess is Aunt Janie's business partner. Now, this is Aunt Bess. Now, she has been quite an active figure in the last few episodes. She's got a big, warm smile and silver white hair. She's dressed really nice in this lovely blue. Now, although a lot of people may think that Aunt Bess is rough and kind of hard, she kind of has a stern exterior, even though she has a big smile. She just wants things to be in order, and she takes it very seriously when people are put in her care, especially a young, beautiful girl like Marguerite. But she has a big heart, and she's very loving, but again, she's a little stern. And if she's on your side, you will win. Now, she was a part of the original family as well, and you can really tell because of her hands. She really doesn't have fingers. She has more like mitten-type hands. And her arms are really short, but I loved her so much. I couldn't get rid of her. So she's a permanent part of the family. Now this is Pop. Pop is Big Daddy's oldest son. And he has a brother and the brother is Uncle Barley, who is married to Charlotte. So I want you to keep in mind that Pop and Uncle Barley are brothers. Uncle Barley and Pop are very outspoken in the family. They are kind but they are very watchful and protective of everyone in the house. Now, this is Grandpa. Now, Grandpa is Big Daddy's father, which would make him Pop and Uncle Barley's grandfather. He's pretty quiet. He doesn't say a lot. He's very watchful. And this is his wife. Now, his wife's name is Evelyn. We call her Aunt Evelyn. She's actually Grandma Evelyn, but depending on who's talking to her, she's Aunt Evelyn. She just likes to watch the babies and hold the babies. Now, the baby that she's holding is Charlotte and Uncle Barley's baby. Now, I'm going to just show you the baby. The baby still has on her christening outfit, but I just want you to show you um, Aunt Evelyn. Aunt Evelyn is actually an Irma, Irma Meyer doll. I actually got her a while back. She looks like my mom doll from my original dollhouse that was lost in the fire. And I think she's so adorable. 
and she's been married to grandpa many, many years. They have raised a wonderful family and now they just enjoy the grandchildren and all the other children that come to the rooming house. But Aunt Evelyn has a special love for the babies. So let me hurry up and get her jacket back on and put the baby back in her arms because that's when she's happiest, when she's holding her granddaughter. By the way, the baby's name is Curly. <laughs> so now here's Uncle Benny. He's a very kind man. He helps with the supplies and orders and accounting for the rooming house. Now he was also one of the original dolls from the family I made in 2003. And this is Aunt Vera. Now I did not make Aunt Vera, but I did make her clothing. And this is their daughter, Hannah. And this is the baby, little Arthur, and the little brother, and his name is Eddie. Now, Uncle Benny is actually a cousin, but because he's so much older than the other children in the house, they just call him Uncle Benny. Now, here is our sweet Isabel. She's the one that's been so warm and welcoming to Marguerite. And this is her husband, Al. His real name is Alvarez, but everybody calls him Al. And they have a lovely family. Now, I did not make... Isabel and Al, but I did dress them and accessorize them. I fit made their hair and their outfits. And yeah, I really like them a lot. I really, really like Isabel's bracelet and her necklace. So they're just a wonderful couple and they have a beautiful family together. And I think they're a really nice couple. They're actually a little bit bigger than 12 scale, but because I love them so much, I more or less just stand them up most of the time because they're too big to sit in chairs but I think they're a lovely family. This is their daughter, Cordelia. Again, I did not make Cordelia, but I did dress her and make her hair. These are the twins. They don't have individual names. We just call them the twins. And this is the older brother, Miguel. So Alvarez came here to the rooming house looking for work in construction. He found work and now they're residents. Now here we are back to Charlotte. This is Miss Charlotte, the lady who was so kind to Marguerite after the big blowout in the dining room. Now, she was one of the dolls from the original family. Now, this is Uncle Barley, which is her husband, who is the younger brother to Pop. They have a lovely family. This is their daughter, Chloe, their son, Eugene. But then there's Baby Girl, who is almost always with Aunt Evelyn, who is her grandmother and Uncle Barley's mother. Now, they all live in the original dollhouse, so they are close relatives and close friends of everyone in the rooming house. So, quick recap, Grandpa is Uncle Barley's grandfather, and Pop is Uncle Barley's big brother. Now, last but not least of this family is little Tracy. Now, you all met little Tracy in one of the last episodes. She is absolutely adorable. Now, I made her from polymer clay, and she actually is the cousin to little Chloe, but she lives with Aunt Charlotte and Uncle Barley, and they're being raised as sisters. Now, this next little family, I did not make them. I did dress them. This is Miss Patricia, her son Claude, and their, her daughter Olivia. Although she works away from the house, they're waiting for her husband to come back from the service. Now, this is Miss Lillian and her son, Joel. Now, her husband is in the service as well. She works with the other women to help attend to all the children in the rooming house. Now, I made both Miss Lillian and little Joel in 2020, but what's a little bit different about Joel, his body is actually porcelain. He was another doll, and the head got messed up. So I will have to show you dolls how to make that to repair a doll that has a missing head. But Lillian is my original design, and I think they make a lovely family. Now, here's my lovely assistant. She's always been so helpful, me making things in the rooming house. And then here is her doting, loving husband, Albert. Albert is absolutely crazy about Violet. And I made both of them in summer of 2022. And yeah, they're a newlywed couple. They love each other. And actually, Sadi and Marguerite look up to them a lot. So here is our precious Marguerite. Now, Marguerite was made in the fall of 2022. And I just want to show you the difference between my dolls over the years. Now, little Chloe, I made her probably in 2003. 
and I made um, Charlotte probably in 2004. So you can see how I've changed as far as working on the faces. If you can look at little Charlotte's hands and look at Big Ma's face, I started to make cheeks and lips and noses and things that I didn't do when I made little Chloe and her hands look like cookies. But I keep all of these dolls because they're all a part of my journey. And one day if I keep working at it, I'll be able to make beautiful hands for my dolls like Jolene on Tiny Keyhole Minis. Definitely check out her channel. Her granny's hands are incredible. So let me get these newlyweds back to their room. But I just wanted you all to see both of them close up. <laughs> now doll, this is Miss Edna. And Miss Edna helps out a lot with the babies as well. She was one of my original dolls from my original dollhouse family that I made in 2003. Now you'll mainly find Miss Edna in the kitchen holding one of the babies. Miss Edna doesn't cook anything, although she may feed the children. She just likes the kitchen because it's warm. Now this is Miss Fountain. She's pretty strict and she worked as a governess in her younger days. But now she comes to the Roman house to assist with all the children. The Roman house has a lot of children to come by because there are people in the community who need a babysitter. And they know that Miss Edna and Miss Fountain and Miss Isabel and Miss Lillian are there to watch over all the children. Now, again, Miss Fountain was one of my original dolls. And if you look at her, I used polymer clay and made rouge for her lips and her cheeks with chalk pastels. And I did her hair. So she was really fun years ago. I do want to do a doll similar to both of them in the future using some of my newer skills. But regardless to whatever other dolls I make that are similar to them, they will always be permanent parts of my original dollhouse family. So really quick, I want to show you a couple other characters from my original dollhouse that I don't use in the house right now. These are three men dolls that I made years ago. Um, now they're quite a bit bigger than Pop. And that's one of the main reasons I don't use them in the house. They're so out of scale. Their heads and faces are about the size of a Barbie or a Ken doll. So they're really, really big. And they look really awkward in the house next to the furniture. So I do keep them um, in the community. I kind of use them sort of like guardian angels uh, to protect the other dolls. And when I say protect the other dolls, I actually keep them around and I allow my grandsons to play with them for time to time. So that's why they look a little bit roughed up. Um, because if I allow them to play with these dolls, it distracts them from playing with other things in my workshop, therefore keeping the other dolls safe. <laughs> so dolls, here's everybody, all the dolls of the original doll house and of the rooming house. Where is Saudi? How did I miss him during introductions? The dolls are discussing it. There he is. Saudi, where were you when I was introducing everybody? Yes, I know I introduced you when you first came, but you're still very special to this family. Now, I did not make Saudi. Saudi is a Heidi Ott doll, and I received him as a gift all the way from Sweden from one of my lovely dolls. And I received him last July, July 2022. And after I got him, I dressed him, gave him a mustache and a beard, and darkened his eyebrows a little. And he has worked hard here at the rooming house. And now he's fallen in love with the beautiful Marguerite. I know you can't hear them, dolls, but they're whispering among themselves, talking about how great it was to meet everyone. So I hope now that everybody's been formally introduced, you'll be able to follow along as we move forward in the What's Happening Among the Dolls series. Now, dolls, I have quite a bit of work ahead of me working on the sewing room, finishing rooms in the rooming house, but I will be doing a series on how to make and dress 12 scale dollhouse dolls made from polymer clay. So definitely stay tuned and be looking forward to that. Now, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.